Hello and welcome. I have an assortment of trailers from the Summer Games Fest 2023 that I've been told were relevant or really important to me, things that I really need to see. And so, we're going to check those out today. We're starting off with the Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis trailer. Okay, all right. Let's check it out. Are oh, you turned up here? Maybe too much. iOS and Android. Immediately get some hitching. Uh, what is that that we missed there? Oh, Genesis. I mean, don't we though? Don't we know Sephiroth at this point? Oh, it, it looks really laggy. What a what a way to start this video off. <clears throat> okay, well, I mean, that looks good. I love this. Hold on, hold on. We've already paused once. I love this art. This art looks great. I wish the game itself looked that way, but of course it's not gonna, right? Okay. Sure. Oh, this is gonna be gotcha, isn't it? This is not at all what I thought it was gonna be, is it? I mean, the combat looks, it looks pretty. I love the art. Cool to see Glenn. But I got a real bad feeling all of a sudden. We got to go back over this real quick. Um, so originally, Ever Crisis was was supposed to be a way to play through all of Final Fantasy VII, like all the extended Final Fantasy VII universe uh, on mobile. But this menu right here, right there, felt like I'd find it. This menu looks like a gotcha menu, and there it is, draw. I guarantee it's either going to be draw characters or draw materia. Either way, it's going to be gotcha. It's going to be gotcha. And that makes me sad because I was really excited for Ever Crisis, honestly. Why did they start me with this one? The community member that gathered these trailers for me. Why did you start me here? To break my heart before we got started? I mean, look, you're getting Crisis Core here, right? You're getting FF7. We're getting some really nice looking art of Tifa there. And of all the characters, the, the combat looks good. But right there. All right, well, let's go to our next trailer. Maybe it'll have me more excited. All right, this is the Pal World release date trailer. I'm really excited. I bet the volume still, yeah. I'm really excited for Power World, honestly. I love monster collecting games, and this one seems like it's completely unhinged, so I'm here for it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Why not? I'll try it. I'm here for it. What even is this game, man? Lost Planet meets Monster Collecting meets Fortnite. Yeah. No, I'm in. Very cool. You can definitely see some of the inspirations here, right? Okay, early access is in January. If we go back to like a little bit of a little bit of Zero Art in there, a little bit of uh Palkia and Dialga in there, right? Then, obviously, we got some Lycan Rock in this with some Eevee. There's the, the references are there, right? Their inspirations are there. I don't know. This one looks kind of like the guy from Monster Sanctuary mixed with the guy from Monster Crown. It's definitely Pokeballs, right? Like, say what you will about how many monster collecting games there are, and I think a lot of them are really good. There's some really good other mechanics for Pokeballs that aren't just Pokeballs again. Like, Cassette Beast, I think, might be my favorite. But 
yeah, I'm here for this. You know, this looks cool. I'm excited to see this like farm that they've built up here. That looks really interesting. And then of course, you know, who doesn't love dinosaur with missile launchers? Uh, but then when you get to like this shot where they're flying through, like that's definitely inspired by Salamence, right? So I'm all, I'm here for this. This is cool. I'm excited. This, this is bringing me back up. Race Marine 2 Co-op. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have read the title up there. That would have been a cool reveal. We're facing a Tetanid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets, Avarax and Kadaku. Yeah. I'll be straight with you, Titus. Okay. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? The yeah, Andros. No yeah, Titus. Heck yeah. My pledge is a ton of service. Unleash Be devastation. Eviscerate this abomination. Very nice. Very nice. Come forth and be slaughtered. Okay. Oh, okay. Three players. That's interesting. Care to see who can slay more Xenos for the Cairo? I got a piece of that stuff. Thanks, GameSpot. I'm trying to watch the trailer. Thanks. I'm trying to see the trailer. You supposed to do that like the last 15 seconds of the video. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. It looks really good, though. Honestly, it does. It looks really good. I like it. Um, I don't think this trailer necessarily showed me things I didn't already know other than the co-op. Uh, which I don't think this trailer really highlighted very well either, uh, but it just looks really cool. And getting to hear Leandro all over again, just, you know. Of course, good old Titus, always there. It looks good. I'm excited for this game. I can't wait to play it and eviscerate some nids. Very stoked for that. This is a new Sonic game. I adore Sonic Frontiers. Maybe my favorite Sonic game ever. Uh, so let's see about Sonic Superstars. course yeah oh <laughs> that's pretty clever i saw that little head peeking out back there digging the music too okay sure i'm one of those weird people that likes 3d sonic more than 2d sonic most of the time but i'll give it a shot Sonic Mania was fun. Sonic 2 is good. I like Sonic 2 a lot. Sonic and Knuckles is good. Okay. Get to actually play as Amy. Good old Nux. And of course, Tails. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know that I'll ever mess around with a co-op, but that's cool. I'm glad it's an option. New powers, okay. Able to actually interact with the water now, that's cool. Yeah, of course. Okay, it's cool. Sonic Superstars, new thrills, classic feels. Okay, win. No release date, all right, here he is. All 2023. Okay. I mean, it looks good. I like it. I'm I'm solidly excited for it. I think it's it's looks good. It didn't wow me, but it didn't really need to. It's just more Sonic, and I like Sonic, so I'm good. Here we go with like a dragon. It's Kiryu. It's Kiryu. 
Code name, Joryu. Joryu is who he's going by now, huh? I love Kazuma Kiryu so much. I mean, Joryu. The dragon in Dojima! Heck yeah. What was that? We had to go back and watch that part. Heck yeah. Ooh. Legendary fighter pack. Is that like arena mode or? Okay, hold on. We gotta go back and see, see this. Okay, so right after the fight starts, he does like a a whip from his arm. Is is Kiryu getting like spy gear? Because if so, that would be sick. Man who erased his name. I am so here for this. This, ooh. Love Kiryu. Top five video game characters of all time. Kazuma Kiryu. Final one. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth gameplay trailer. Now, I'm assuming it's going to play like Remake did, but let's find out. Must have been sent to me We're for a reason. At the scene of this terrible disaster. Yeah. Caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors zero, one, and two. Well, that's Barrett and Tiva. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Red. Aerith. <laughs> wow. Just look at it all. It's yep. so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Yeah. I was wondering. I mean, yeah, I'm obviously super soaked for this. Five years. Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know. Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years Chocobo ago. Chocobo just made me so happy. Oh, I am green. so stoked for this, man. It is the very yeah, the elder the star. The blood coursing through its planetary vein. Yeah. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the man, I believe. Oh, it looks so him. good. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened. He's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? The fuzziness! Yes! Well now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. I am so stoked. Yeah, you can play as red now. Very cool. Feast your eyes on the Turks latest Sister. Oh, Elena. Yeah, not Cisne. Sorry. Sorry. Crisis core brain. Crisis core brain. Very nice. So stoked for this. Aha! Look at how good red looks. Heck yeah. There's UV. Combo attacks too. Those look great. Keep her away from me. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul. 
Oh boy. That she can become those you hate. Yeah. Those you fear. Those you love. Free. Yeah. Yeah. You murdered my dad. You burned my we gotta, village. We gotta go back. No, game spot. Get rid of him. know that I killed her. So, who is she? Game spot, I turned off annotations. I do. Right, what did Cloud say here? You can be those you love. Green. Yeah. Yeah. You murdered my He did dad. not say green and. I think he said breathe it in. Green. Yeah. Yeah. You murdered my and? Dad. I don't know. You burned my village. Game spot, get rid of these. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Yeah, so this is going to get into a lot of the the questions then. On two discs! Yes! Yes! So we're covering a big chunk of the game then, huh? Heck yeah! Look, that may not mean anything to anybody else as to why two discs gets me so excited, but that's the way it used to, like, I remember two discs and it there's more is two discs, four discs. How many discs? Hold on, I gotta look this up. I have it behind me. Hold on, I have it behind me. Yeah, it was three discs. Three. What? Oh, yeah. That you said. So what you're not seeing in this moment right here is that I broke my monitor when I did that right here. There's a crack right there. Yep. Yep. Love this game so much. So stoked. Can't wait. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. That Summer Games Fest, Final Fantasy VII, has to offer.